a quick discussion on distributing your project. If you go back to the Project Publish area, or press F7, you're going to see this um, dialog here, and each of these little options has a little description. So if we sort of go through them here, you'll notice uh, publishing to a hard drive, it says this option it offers you the most flexibility in your publishing options. Your application is built and stored in a folder. Then you can decide what you want to do with it. You can then take the same contents and burn them to a CD, share them on a network, or compress them into a single archive or an executable file. So that's a really neat aspect of the hard drive folder one. The compressed executable creates that single executable file, so it's ideal for web, for example, or applications where it's integral to have that single file. And I really enjoy using this one myself because it's really handy. For example, if you're sharing an application with somebody and you're not sure whether or not they're particularly technically savvy, it's a really great way to know that they can just double click your icon and everything goes good. Um, again, the executables created by Autoplay Media Studio are super reliable and uh, you can really count on them if you want an application to be mission critical, that is, that it's integral, that that application run okay, and it's a small application, I recommend that format. Okay, our CDR, CDRW option, is a great option for people who don't want to mess around with a CD burner. They just want to put the CD in and publish directly to the disk. So that's why we added that in version 5.0. And it's basically perfect for producing a working master for mass replication. So make sure you've tested your project first, and then go ahead and publish with that option if you're making a master disk for replication. And finally, we've got the ISO image here. The ISO image option, it's kind of neat because it gives you an application image that you can then burn using any CD burning software as a um, full version disk. So that's kind of a neat application and I hope you guys will experiment with those and see which, which one works best for you. But basically, once you've decided on what option you're going to publish to, that's going to give you certain options for distribution. Let's take a look at the compressed executable. Now we've got different platforms here for distribution. You can do it over a network, uh, wide area network, local area network, and you can also do it over the internet. You can also do it via on a small project, a floppy, or you could do it via a CD-ROM or a CDRW, any any sort of uh, removable media, zip drive, jazz drive, you name it, flash drive, and you can also um, take advantage then with the smaller projects of the mini disks. People really enjoy those, or the virtual card mini disks. So you can see that with Autoplay Media Studio, we've built in a lot of flexibility on the front end, in the application itself, and on the back end, because we want you to be able to share your applications and get the results you need. If you have any questions at all about any of this stuff, please join us in the forum. We've got a lot of experience in getting these applications published and distributed, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. There we go. You gotta love how fast that builds.